Have you guys ever seen like preserved flowers in a journal and it just looks so aesthetically pleasing and so cool, so artsy, and you wanted to do it for yourself, but you haven't really known how? Well, that's me right now. The other day I was on a picnic with my girlfriend, Kara, and there was these really nice white flowers and I really wanted to keep some of them. So I took one home and then I picked up a couple flowers on the way home and I was like, dude, I'm definitely gonna preserve these in my journal. My initial idea was to laminate them and throw them in my journal, but I didn't have any laminating paper. So I did the like most ghetto version of laminating, which is getting packing tape, putting the flowers on the tape and then taping over them and then cutting off the excess, which is not a terrible idea if you need to laminate something, but I don't think it was the best idea for flowers. I put it in my journal and then it was like super like bumpy and then I couldn't keep writing on the next page over. So I decided to take them out and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna get a journal that's only for preserving flowers in. So that's where this journal came into play. So I took it out of the journal. I left it in that packing tape laminating job I did, which was absolutely horrific. And I threw them in the journal and I wanna show you guys what they look like. I will say, quick disclaimer, they do not look that great anymore. One of the flowers, like the color, it just completely bled off. It was a beautiful purple color and now it's literally translucent. Uh, so let me show you what that looks like. So these are the first ones that I threw in here. They don't look absolutely terrible. They do, uh, no, they look pretty bad. <laughs> the next ones I actually put in yesterday are these. And these look a lot better, but it only has been one day. So these might start to bleed and or die uh, just like the other ones. So. I guess we'll just have to see. So just now I went on a walk and I found some awesome flowers and a couple of herbs actually from this little herb garden and I wanna preserve them, but I don't want them to look like shit. So I looked up a couple videos on YouTube and I guess I know how to do it now. So I'm gonna try that out and hopefully it works, but I wanted to bring you guys along on this journey of a flower preservation with me. So let me show you guys what I've got for today. be mad at what I'm going to use to weigh this down, but it's the only thing I've got that's like heavy that can really sit on it. I recommend using like a weight or like a bunch of heavy books, but I don't have any textbooks. I don't have a lot of heavy books and I don't have any weights to put on it. So sorry, Kara, but I'm going to use your book thingy. We're going to use that thing. We have two, but maybe if I take this one, Shove these against the end of that. I'm just gonna add that on. That's not too bad. That doesn't look bad. Maybe she won't notice. <laughs> yeah. It seems that the heavy part is on the bottom. So put it like that, and we're good. All right, so luckily this fits under here barely but we're gonna keep them here out of sight. It's not the prettiest thing, but it'll do. I'm gonna check on it in a few days. What I saw online was like two weeks, uh, but we'll see how dry it's looking. And yeah, so I'm gonna have to do some waiting for you guys, it's gonna be a second. So the next thing you guys are gonna see is the flowers when they're all ready to place in the journal. Two weeks later. All right guys, so it's been a bit over two weeks since I last put those flowers in the books to be pressed. And I've even added a few more throughout those couple of weeks. So I waited even longer to have all of my flowers and leaves done for this video. So I'm gonna show you guys what they're looking like and then we're gonna go ahead and throw them in my journal. <music> Well, let's take a look at what we've got. I think I'm gonna start with this pile. Wow, these look pretty good. These are nice and dried out for the journal. Looking super good. This looks a little funny, but 
I think it works. Like, it looks sick. Doesn't look like what it looked like when I got it, but that's okay. This is interesting. I kind of like how they just dry out in the most random ways. Like, obviously, it's not going to look like the flower it once was, but this is unique, like, in its own way. And here's the last one of this pile. Wow, that turned out really good. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna put the comparison photo of what this once was right here. Look at that difference. Looks pretty good and it looks fucking sick. All right, so now that we've checked these out, let's go ahead and check these out. Wow, this looks incredible. I love how flat it is. I've saved so many leaves before and they start to like round up on the sides and start to crack and this looks perfect. Wow, very hyped on that. Oh, look at that, dude. Wow, that's phenomenal. Very pretty, very, very pretty. And this is actually a rose from some flowers that I got my girlfriend. And whoa, it's like, it's still cold. Very nice and flat. Like this is ins this is insane. Look at that. All right, guys. So those are looking a lot cooler than I expected. I did check on them like about a few days in, maybe four days in, and they were starting to look good, but they were still like not fully flattened out. So I left them in there. I think a sweet spot for leaving them in there is at least a week, a week and a half. I think two weeks is like the perfect amount of time. And I went over that two weeks, and they're still looking really good. I don't really think it matters how long you keep them in there, but. As a general rule of thumb, I'm gonna say a week and a half and they'll be mostly dried out. But now that we know what they look like, let's go ahead and throw them in the journal because this is the most fun part. Now we get to beautify our journal. So let's do that. So if you remember these from the beginning of the video, they didn't look nearly as bad as this, but they're just continuing to just look disgusting. So I actually went and repicked these exact same ones and I'm gonna put them back in here once they dry out because they're still drying out, but that sucks. Same as these. So the way I'm curating this journal is I'm doing a journal entry the day I find the flowers, and then once they're dried out, I put them, I'm gonna put them in here, just so I remember what walk I went on and like anything I experienced throughout that walk, any feelings, anything I saw, and then yeah, and then I'll go back and throw them in there because otherwise I wouldn't know where the fuck they're gonna go. So let's take a look at the journal. I think it looks super, super sick. My biggest concern is I hope they don't like fall out, but I don't think they will. We have to add a little bit more tape on like the petals, but that's looking super, super good. What I want to do is buy like a different kind of tape and maybe like some floral decorative tape so that it kind of matches the aesthetic and doesn't look so like, I don't know like a Neanderthal did it. <laughs> Otherwise it looks pretty good. This one was too big to put right here. So this one is actually from this day, but I didn't want to leave it empty. So I just put it here cause I was going to throw it away. So I might as well keep it. And yeah, but look at how beautiful this leaf looks. Look at that. And the last one is this little rose and I love it. guys so that's going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i'm feeling really stoked about doing this flower journal and i'm really excited to see how it turns out when i'm done with it i can't wait to look back at how incredibly beautiful these flowers and leaves and herbs have aged i look forward to that immensely and i look forward to reading back on you know the little excerpt of the walk and how i felt that day i hope that this may have helped you I watched a few videos online before I made this video. So this is by no means like my secret technique to preserving flowers. I can't remember which videos I watched, but if you just search it up on the YouTube search bar, you'll find probably dozens of videos under the same topic. 
But yeah, I just wanted to give my uh, little swing at it and show you guys my experience doing this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Oh,